Evening all, very quick video here. I just wanted to show you a lot of work we were doing in the house today. So this is a raspberry pie um, in a lovely case designed by my eight-year-old daughter, Chevelle. Um, it's not finished. We're waiting for some of the Subaru we put in it to dry. Um, but I'm very pleased with what she's done. Um, as you see there, lovely raspberry symbol. Uh, what we have here, if you, this bloody phone would focus in, is a tiny little um, USB keyboard and mouse adapter, uh, Ethernet, and then a lot, big blob of Subaru, which we haven't cleaned up yet. We're going to let it dry first, and then we'll um, then we'll smooth it down. It was quite hard to, because uh, of the big gap behind it. Uh, there's also, you're going to see quite a bit of um, cling film, because that's what we used to obviously stop the Subaru sticking to the bits we don't want it to stick to. Um, at the side there, if you can see, that's our HDMI, black Subaru there, filling in the gap. Um, and at the very back there, we have the cable going in to, that's just a, stuck to an iPad power supply. I'll up, lift up the lid now in a second. That's connected to, via that little USB adapter, Silvercrest keyboard, standard little gear, I think, Aldi, I don't know, I never remember the difference. Um, and uh, interesting flashy things going on there with the video. But anyway, uh, Silvercrest mouse, it seems to be the best combo I've got at the minute without giving any errors. Uh, but we'll take off the lid. Shmell's going to do a little hinge for it tomorrow in Lego. Um, and there we have it. So there's the pie. Um, not much we need to talk about there other than we have a little window on the side there. I don't know if you can see that. So you can see the lights flashing so you know everything's working okay. That's a nice little feature. Um, obviously, as you can see, case is gigantic compared to the size of the pie. I didn't give her any limitations on height. I just gave her the actual outline dimensions and she shot ahead. Um, but actually this could work quite well because if we pull out some of the Lego that's in under there, um, we'd be able to do things like put in battery packs. I also just show you here, um, excuse me for a second. So this is a four port USB hub, dirt cheap uh, Chinese job from Deal Extreme. Um, and I've just taken the case off it, so I think that'll be ideal if I can kind of get that in there and kind of expose the four ports. Unfortunately, as, as I've been saying on Twitter the past couple of days, USB has horrendous problems on Raspberry Pi at the minute. It's biggest, biggest problem right now. Um, you know, even if this is a power, even with power on this hub, a decent power supply on this hub, there's just constant, the, the thing won't boot or you get constant errors from the devices it can't read and write to them this is a bluetooth adapter which works fine when plugged directly into the pie but not a hub uh, when in via hub ditto you um, wi-fi adapters and so on and um, so i'm dying for them to sort that out hopefully it's not a hardware issue even though there seems to be hints that there may be uh, hardware related issues i mean usb should just work fundamentally um the other thing i wanted to show you is this so we're actually what i'm running here um that's Peppa Pig. What I'm actually running is not the Debian uh, default Linux install that they have up on the site. This is a thing called, uh, God, I can't even know what it's called now, OpenELEC. Stripped down Linux version specifically uh, put together to run XBMC, so Xbox Media Center. Um, it's, again, buggy as hell right now, but it should be great. Um, I'm going to run it there. Uh, I've tested it with a variety of video. Works fine. It's actually streaming this across the wired network. Um, from a, a, our TV PC, which is all our ripped Peppa Pig uh, DVDs. Um, works fine, the menus are chronically slow. The other problem I found running testing it yesterday was uh, what I have here is, excuse the mess, um, that's a cheap generic kind of Chinese Windows MCE remote. Um, it worked, it actually, I was really, really surprised and, and really, really happy. It did work with OpenELEC, but just riddled with F missed key presses, uh, repeated key presses, wrong key presses. So I, and I wonder, is that back to the USB problem again? Uh, a few of the little uh, notes on stuff we've been doing the past few days, just messing around. This is a, a what you call it, another little Aldi, whatever, um, like a power monkey clone. So I've actually powered that up and used that to power the Raspberry Pi. It lost a couple of hours actually, which is quite neat. Um, and then the other thing is my, oops, bang, uh, always, many time used uh, iGo stowaway keyboard worked perfectly uh, with the Bluetooth adapter and plugged as I said directly into the Pi, but won't work at all with the Bluetooth adapter plugged into um, whatever 
into the hub. Um, that's really it. This is a generic um, USB Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, I got that working with the Debian. I had to install some thingy yokies. Uh, uh, word, what word am I looking for? Can't remember. Um, and anyway, the kids are, are just intrigued by the whole thing. Um, Chabelle is a big fan, so she did this for me. I think we'll do more. Um, myself and herself around cases and just having a bit of fun with it. Uh, the Sugu worked really, really well because basically none of the dimensions of the Pi match the dimensions of standard Lego. Everything's just like a millimetre out or two millimetres out. So you absolutely have to have something to kind of plug the holes. And it just, you know, it's the type of thing that Sugu is perfect for. Um, really pleased with the whole thing. It's all working well, but as I said, they really, you know, they have to sort out USB. This is not a saleable product right now with USB in the state that it's in, other than to very early adopter geeks, developers, which I know that's the target right now, but um, fast. I mean, if they're if they're going to be selling thousands and thousands of these to people who think it's going to be a kind of production quality stuff, they're going to be uh, very, very disappointed. Um, not much else to report. I'm looking forward to, as I said, the Open Elect and the XBMC working better. And we'll do a... Um, we'll basically turn that this one, I think, probably into just a, a media player for, for some of the kids. But that's that's an AVI there. I don't think it's particularly high res. Um, which is interesting because that's MPEG-2, to the best of my knowledge, and they, there is no hardware MPEG-2 decoder on this. I was doing that in software. Um, it has, the GPU has hardware decode for MPEG-4, so it can go to 1080p. Um, I've had issues there, but um, as I said, early days, I expect there to be lots more fun uh, lots more um, ability coming up. Uh, nothing more else really to report, I don't think. Um, any questions about the Sugru, the Lego? I'll pass them on to Chevelle. All right, thanks.